We're going to take a look now um, at how you can track um, different campaigns that you've been running, be it that on social media, organic or, or paid, uh, either search or social or maybe within, even within your email campaigns. And you may have used UTM tracking. Um, so I've just gone into reports and then uh, acquisition and then traffic acquisition. Um, and so they give you the general stuff down here and it starts off by giving you uh, the default uh, channel grouping. So I'm going to change that over uh, to source medium uh, to start off, uh, which is uh, fine. Now, this again, I'm using the Google uh, demo account here um, and you can see that we have um, 104 pages of 10. So there's a huge number of results here. And you think, well, actually, I'd love to just take a look at the email. So in here, I could just type in email and press enter. And now we're just taking a look um, at the email campaigns. And you can see we're just looking at all the emails and we've got, for example, the number of users, the amount of sessions, the engagement rate um, right across uh, to conversions and then total revenue. So you can see, you know, these are the particular uh, source and then the medium is the general category and then the source is a uh, newsletter September 22. But we might want to look at, at a bit more details. So if we click on the plus sign in here uh, and we look for session campaign uh, and we add that. Uh, now you can see the particular uh, session. So, for example, within newsletter for September, um, <coughs> then there were there were uh, obviously two different emails that were sent out in September um, and they've got uh, different versions of it. And so you can track uh, the effectiveness of each of those uh, campaigns. So I've just expanded out the date now uh, to a full year. We were looking at just 30 days uh, and you can see um, and I've sorted them then so you can just sort it here uh, by the session source medium so that they're all kind of in together. But you can see then very clearly which ones are working well. Uh, and, you know, for example, you could then take a look at them at which ones were generating uh, the most revenue. So here's a list of the UTM parameters uh, that we looked at uh, previously um, and then just a description of uh, how they're called uh, within uh, GA4. So the UTM medium uh, is session medium or first user medium. Uh, UTM source is session or first user source. Campaign is the same. Uh, the term is now this one's a little bit different session manual term or first user manual term UTM content is again manual ad content or first user manual ad content um, ID is ID, which is fine, or first user ID. Um, so they're the ones that you're looking for. So if you want to take a look at those, uh, that's what they're described as uh, in um, GA4. So, for example, if we wanted to look at the content, we could click on the plus in here and search for content. Um, and so uh, we'll be looking at the first user manual ad content or the session manual ad content uh, and click on that. And it just takes a few seconds uh, to appear. Uh, and here you can see the content. So, for example, the fall banner, um, you know, this particular sweatshirt, that the shirt that they were highlighting. And so you can then do comparisons of which ones are, are working particularly well for you or not. And it's in exactly the same way you could use any of the other UTM uh, parameters.